hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be bringing you two different looks using the nyx glitter brilliance so i'm going to be using two different shades a pink and an orange shade the makeup tutorial for both looks are exactly the same the only difference between the two looks is the uh, glitter that i use in the eyelid as we know summer is here and this is the season for dewy glittery golden looks so what better than to use these two glitters and the great thing is i'm using mostly drugstore products there are a few um uh, high-end products but majority of the products are drugstore products so this is how to go from basic to baddie on a budget i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you guys already know what to do like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video I've already prepped my skin with Cetaphil. I have normal to dry skin, so this helps me achieve that dewy look under my makeup. I'm gonna start off with this LA Girl Pro Concealer Color Corrector, and I'm gonna put it in all the dark areas of my face. I have some marks on my cheeks and under my eyes and even on top of my lip. I'm also going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze and I'm just going to put that all over the areas where I put the color corrector and that's just going to conceal the dark areas a little bit better. As you can see, I'm running out. And I'll usually just take whatever excess that I have left and go over my entire eyelid and that will kind of act as my primer as well for my foundation. And for my foundation, I use the MAC Pro Longwear um, in the shade NC50. I actually need to buy another color because my skin is getting darker for the summer. So yeah, I'm going to need to get on that ASAP pronto. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my flat kabuki brush. And I definitely put this foundation on my neck as well because I can't be walking out with two different colors. Like neck and face looking crazy out here. So... <laughs> Blend, blend, blend all over that neck, hunty. For my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with this NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Espresso. I like my eyebrows to look as natural as possible so I don't fill them in too much. I kind of just follow the natural pattern of my eyebrows and kind of just fill in the empty spaces for the most part. I'm going to take this spoolie and fade out the front of my eyebrows to take away that bluntness and make it look a little bit more natural. I use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Cafe, that's the number 30, and I use that to kind of just conceal under the eyebrows and on top of the eyebrows and clean it up. You know, snatch them eyebrows with a goal. I was in here jamming. Hey, that's the show though. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 35O palette and I'm gonna start off with this light brown shade in my crease and that's gonna act as the base. It's really my skin complexion so I kind of have to layer up on this just for you to even see it but I, that's the look I was going for. I wanted a soft transition. I'm going to use this brownish reddish shade in the cut of my crease as you can see I've hit pan so I'm highly disappointed I need to buy a new palette anyway but I'm going to use that um, it's just a little bit darker so I'm going to use that in the crease 
and that's gonna be the color that I use to transition into the glitter Please excuse the ghetto-ness, but I had to put this napkin here because the glitter was going to fall all over my top and I was not about to let that happen. Okay, so I'm going to first use this NYX glitter glue and apply it to my eyelid. And this is going to help the glitter stay in place all day. I use the NYX glitter in the shade Rose. I suggest going in with the eyes first before you do the rest of your face because what tends to happen is there's fallout and then you have to go back in and clean the glitter off your face and don't nobody got time for that. So definitely do your eyes first before your makeup. That was my mistake here. I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan, and that's what I use to highlight my under eyes. And then I use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Cafe. I take that again and I go back in just to highlight my forehead, my nose, and my chin. I'm going to go in with my Besame Translucent Powder in the shade French Vanilla. And I'm going to use this to set my under eyes and my forehead, my nose, and my chin. Just basically all the areas that I highlighted. I use the CoverGirl bronzer in the shade Ebony Bronze and this is like forever going to be my favorite bronzer for contouring my face. And I just bring the color back into my forehead, bring out my cheekbones a little bit and that's basically what I do with this here. But why nobody ain't tell me I still had this foolish napkin on? Why nobody ain't tell me though? Now I'm going to use this Morphe 9B palette and I'm going to take this mauve blush down at the bottom and that's what I'm going to use on my cheeks. Now I'm going back into the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to take that same reddish brown color and just put that under my eye. I'm just gonna use this Maybelline eye pencil and this is in the shade Nude. I use it just to bring a pop of color under the eye and kind of open the eye a little bit, brighten it up. And then I'm going to go in with this skinny waterproof pencil. This is by NYX and just put a light wing liner just to kind of give a base for my eyelashes. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Original. And I'm going to use that as just my standard mascara, you know, nothing fancy, just to get these eyelashes together for my falsies. I use my favorite style of lashes, but please don't mind this little sauce stain on the corner because, you know, I was getting my grub on prior to this video. But these are the Coco Lashes in the style Stella. I applied these off camera and this is how it came out.
And for my favorite part of this whole process, highlight of time, it's time to glow up. <laughs> so, yeah, this broke. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead with this Becca uh, highlighter in Champagne Pop. And I'm going to put right on top of it this Milani highlighter. This is actually a new highlighter and it's in the shade Glowing Strobe Light number 4. Oh, and please don't mind my brush. Yeah, this brush needs to be replaced ASAP. But it's getting the job done. This is probably one of my favorite black girl friendly lip glasses. And this is from MAC in the shade Spite. And you already know what time it is. I'm going to go in with my MAC setting spray and hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yes, feel it. Love it. Take it in. <laughs> so this is the final look. I just went ahead and paired it with this duster coat that I believe I got from Pretty Little Thing. And I also got this dress. This is also from Pretty Little Thing. It's just a white dress. And that's basically my look. Okay. And for the next look, I used the NYX glitter in the shade Copper. And I paired it with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. So this is the final look. I went ahead and paired it up with this spaghetti strap orange tank top. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.